So today's video is going to go over the highs, but definitely the lows of today's raids, especially in the beginning of the video. I got very upset, very confused. I ended up losing four raid passes altogether when it was all said and done until finally later in the day I got to raid. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video guys. I woke up early because apparently raids are out for my town. I was out all night last night, not a raid. Now there's raids everywhere. Let's go raid. <laughs> there's a Machamp raid up here. Dope. 18,000. Dang. Let's go get him. I'm almost there. Dude, this is so dope. A Machamp. I missed out on a Machamp yesterday. It was in Peoria, which is a really long ways away, but this is dope. 18,144. I hope I can solo it. I think I can. So, <laughs> I'm almost there. I gotta find a place to set the camera down now. Dope! Okay. Let's hop in this thing. I have to use a premium raid pass now. So we're going to go ahead and use a premium raid pass. Countdown to raid battle to start. Now he's fighting, so he's weak to sidekick. Let's go ahead and type that in. Weak to sidekick. Sidekick. There we go. Um, best move set to uh, slow king is confusion sidekick. So we'll use that. Type in sidekick again. Sidekick. Okay. Slowbro best move set. Also sidekick. Okay. This is basically the best way to find it. Sidekick. Okay. Um. Hmm. We're gonna go with the hypno. Hypno's very tanky. Da 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 da. I really need to get that Espiana. That's okay. That 93 Executor, I believe, has psychic moves. And then let's just go tankiness right here. We'll go Dragonite and we'll go, uh, we'll go Dragonite and Gyarados, basically. From the looks like of it, doesn't look like nobody's here. So that's dope. Uh, and as far as I know, I'm the only one that's going to get this, so... Not very many people are out um, playing right now. It's 10.21 in the morning. I had to hop out of bed. Oh, dope. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. Here we go, Machamp. Machamp. Oh, my gosh. This is so dope. What? Hold on. Tell us the reason why. Why are you putting people through this? Well, it seems like some raids are absolutely broken, and this is extremely frustrating. I just used two raid passes on that now. I didn't use two raid... Well, I've used two raid passes on that. I've had that Tyranitar apparently was broken, and it wasn't because of my live stream. Now that Machamp is broken. Oh my gosh, that's extremely frustrating. Because that's two... Raids that Niantic basically owes me. I lost my free raid pass for today's. It's gone. And I lost one use on my premium raid pass. I'm not happy about it. Let me know if you guys have experienced the same thing. I really want to know. Or am I the only one? Of course your boy found another raid nearby. This one right here. It's a tier 2. And what I've come to the consensus so far is that a tier 3 or a tier 4 raid, you cannot battle by yourself they will not let you solo it but uh this is a tier two could be a magic card could not be um in 27 minutes it'll pop so to kill the time let's go ahead and take this gym down if we take this gym down um we'll get extra premier balls because it's the same team bonus my bag is full yeah you heard me you get extra premier balls for having the same team gym so there's a social aspect in here that Niantic threw in. Waiting for a raid to start. Is it going to start in 30 minutes? It's going to gather a bunch of people, and then people are going to fight for the gym in order to get those extra Premier Balls to catch the Pokemon. 
Now that's huge, especially if it's going to be a Tyranitar. I missed a Tyranitar this morning. It kept giving me the error message just like that Machamp did. I was not happy about it because I could have possibly soloed the Tyranitar. Possibly. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. It was 34,000 CP. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Uh, even online. But, I think you can't solo Tier 3 and Tier 4s. Uh, we'll be going out tonight and raiding. I'll have more info on raids for you guys. And uh, tomorrow I'll have the complete raid guide. Everything you need to know. Everything you need to know. Raids are still fresh right now. Especially since there were no raids for me last night. I'm the healthiest eater in the world. Ha! So yeah, we're going to take this gym down. Um, and then... Uh, that way I'll get those extra premiere balls. And then I'll be back with you guys when the raid egg pops. So I'll see you then. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what it is. What is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? The raids are so broken right now. I am... <sighs> okay. I'll stop recording the screen. Give me a minute here. <sighs> I'm going to start recording the screen now. Alright, I'm recording. What is going on? I couldn't even watch a hatch. That's so stupid. It's an executor. Sweet. That's awesome. I wanted to watch a hatch though, that was so cool. 12-6-33. Alright, use the raid pass. <clears throat> Battle. Alright, we're gonna use Flareon. Keep the Hound Door, keep the Fortress. Actually, we're gonna use Fortress first. Bug does four times damage. We're gonna use the Fortress first, if I can find it. That'll work. Um, don't want it right on. Whoops. Um, Arcanine has dark moves. That'll work. Hey, there's somebody else. 1969. This guy, I saw him walking over here. He's, well, do the math. 40, he's 40. He's 48 years old and he looks like he's 60. Pretty sure he was a Valor player, and he switched to Mystic. Can't beat him, join him. Sorry, man. 30 seconds. Now, this is going to be interesting. Depending on how much damage you do, you get more Premier Balls. I guarantee you, I'm going to do more damage than this guy. Not because of my level, but because of the Pokemon I've got out. Bug Bite is going to do four times more damage to... Uh, Executor on top of Stab. So no matter what, I'm going to do more damage and I'll get more Premier Balls than he will. I can guarantee you that. Here we go. Gosh, that thing's huge. And go. this whole time and it didn't even work that's gonna be it for today's video as you can tell I'm not very happy I'll inform you guys in the next video what the hell
is going on. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it with Fit City. Six hours later. Well, we just beat that Flareon uh, raid. Kevin, what would you think about your first raid? It was pretty cool. Uh, how about the loot? Uh, it's um, perfect, actually. I mean, you got charged TM. You didn't get any Rick Candies, though. No. I like the fact that when you catch the Pokemon, it's actually good IV. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a cool thing. I don't think you got Rare Candies because it was your first raid. That might have something to do with it. It could be. Maybe. I didn't get Rare Candies on my first raid, so... I'm just glad it worked. Right? I'm glad it worked for me! <laughs> I was so pumped that it worked for me. I tried raiding all day today, and it didn't work for me. I lost four raid passes today. Four! Good grief. Now there might be a curfew on raids. It is almost 8.30 at night, and word on the street is that raids don't uh, start past 9 p.m. So I just uh, messaged my Facebook group, and we're going to see if, uh, if uh, there's any raids in Peoria, a city next to me. But um, when I get home, I'm going to go over the footage of the Flareon raid. Uh, I kind of go over what's different about raids, stuff like that, how you can take down raids quickly. So, yeah. Hopefully we find another raid, though. Well, it's after 9 o'clock, and raids definitely do shut off at night. It's been pretty much speculated and basically confirmed across the entire nation that after a certain amount of time at night, raids no longer shut off, or no longer pop up, excuse me. And it's different times for every region of the United States, but for me, it's like 8 o'clock, 8.30, somewhere around there, is when raids shut off. Um, I find that interesting. I'm going to go ahead and... Pop up that raid. We did a Flareon earlier. The Flareon was almost soloable. I could almost do it by myself. Um, which was interesting, I thought. But the fact that I needed a second person, I thought was interesting as well. Um, because I was doing super effective damage with Rhydon and with my Vaporeons. Uh, but Kevin got there. He showed up just on time. He was able to get in there. We were able to both get in there and take it down. Quite easily, I would say. We lost a few Pokemon. Which was okay, to be honest. Um, definitely don't worry about dodging, because time is of the essence. So we want to deal as much DPS as possible. And that's just straight up just going after it. Um, you could dodge, but we were trying to kill him as fast as possible. And we knew the rewards, which are very good by the way, um, were at stake. So we took down the Flareon. It was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people showed up to take it down, but me and Kevin, we did it by ourselves. Um, now, uh, we're just going to go down and claim some gems. There's Kevin right there. He got his big swig. Big swigger. <laughs> it's uh, it's tradition to, uh, when you go out and play Pokemon Go, to always stop at gas station and get a big swig. But, yeah. The raids are hey, out. Kevin. Make sure you raid. What happened? I got free and, one. Oh, yeah, free one? Nice. Um, get together with your friends and stuff. Um, the raids finally worked for me. I'm very excited about it. Um, make sure you pay for some of those raid passes. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it with Fit City. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the raids as much as I am, even though I raged earlier today, as you saw earlier in the video. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it with Fit City, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.